In this video, I'm gonna show you how to cut floor tiles with two different methods of marking them up. One is where we place a tile directly on top of the full tile, then we get a second tile, butt it up against the wall, lap that on top, take your pen, draw a line down there, and then that tile on the underside is the one that you cut. And this off cut goes straight into that space. In a large room like this, using rapid set adhesive, I prefer to lay down all the full tiles and then come back once they're dry to take my time and do all the cuts around the edges. One is place a full tile on top of one of the tiles that are fixed down to the floor, making sure the edges in the corners are flush. Along all the edges directly on top of the tile below. These bend down. Let's take a second tile. Put it on top. Slide it up to the wall, keeping these edges flush. I leave about four millimeters gap against the wall. And then when I mark it both ends with my pen, I gain another two millimeters, leaving me a full six millimeter expansion gap. And we simply mark it here and mark it here. Or you can do a straight line right the way through. This is the tile we cut with the marks on. And this piece that we've cut here will fit nice and snug in there. So I'll place my tile cutter put up against the wall so it won't move. Of course, it's got to be big enough for cutting 600 millimeter tiles, which this one is. My one pencil mark I place up here, get it directly in the center of that piece. And the other mark down here, I also want that directly in the center, which will be in line with my blade. Before I score it, I just go across, double check that my blade is touching the mark. Here he is. Come back again, double check, it's still on the mark, and if you're happy with that, I'm gonna put a small amount of pressure down onto this arm here. So the blade is now touching the top of the tile, starting to press a little bit of pressure. As I'm pushing down, I'm going to score it right the way to the opposite end. There we go. It slid right past the tile now. This is why we butt that up against the wall so it doesn't move. Then we take this, we lift it up, and this little plate here sits on top and straddles over the score line that we did on the tiles. Once that's covered it, a quick sharp press on the top of the handle should do the job. Here we go. And that is our two tiles perfectly cut. So this was the one that we'd marked. That now should place up against here and drop in here perfectly, giving us the same size gap around the tile. Of course, they're spaced out with these base plates as what we've got around the rest of the floor. So that is one way of taking your measurements and cutting it and fitting it in perfectly. The next way is just by using a tape measure. So of course, we've got the same gap. Take your measurements from the wall to the fixed down tile on both ends, deducting a couple of millimetres for your spacer here and a couple of millimetres against the wall as well because you want to get grout all the way around the tile. Take that measurement from one end, mark it onto your tile. Take a measurement from the other end and also mark that on your tile and do the cut exactly the same. So now I'll do all my cuts right the way around the room, place them into position as a dry run. Once I'm happy that they all fit, then I'll mix up my tile adhesive and bed them into position. Now once you've cut your towel, make sure the sharp cut edge butts up to the wall itself and the smooth manufactured edge butts up to the adjacent tile where the base clips are. So now I've got a full run of tiles laid into position without any adhesive on. I'm not quite happy with the size gap 
I'm going to use a four inch grinder with a diamond tip blade to cut off another couple more millimeters to give me that full six millimeter clearance. We'll do a quick dry run to check you're happy that they fit, mix up your adhesive, spread it down, comb it through and then start to bed your tiles into position using the leveling system to get them level. Wipe off any dry excessive adhesive off the surface of the tiles and then you can start grouting. You can get a variety of different grout colours to match your tiles. Once it's been in for 15 minutes you can start to buff it off with a wet clean sponge. This will dry, repeat this two or three times until your tiles are clean. So that's my cut tiles now complete. If you want to see more how-to videos, check out the YouTube channel. But if you want to know more about the vast range of products that Tile Mountain stock, just visit their website, tilemountain.co.uk.